Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're watching Green Wave TV Alternative Media Television. Now, if you're paying any attention at all, it is pretty obvious that there is an ideological revolution taking place in the minds of not just the people here in the United States, but people in aggregate all around the world. But the question is, does that ideological revolution actually translate into a real physical revolution that topples federal governments not just here in the United States, but abroad. And what would that world look like? What would the world look like with small, independent, autonomous countries, units, governments? You can think of this like seasteading, which is an experiment of Silicon Valley billionaires building societies individually along the coast of San Francisco, where you could have a capitalist society, you could have an anarchist society, you could have a socialist communist society, all functioning together independently, autonomously, but as neighbors. Is an environment like that possible? And will the people of the world actually ever try to engage it? Now, I think through the advent of technology, we've seen how mass communication has gotten easier and easier for us to really tangibly uh, receive and give information out to the world. But are people really truly open to engaging themselves physically in the real world of an idea that is very much toppling governments, toppling federal governments, toppling a mainstream media, and an infrastructure that controls the world, controls the action of the people. This vertical pyramid where a few rulers at the very top, whether or not this is coming from a political framework or a financial framework. You look at the Federal Reserve here in the United States, you look at Washington and our politicians that rule over us. How does this effectively ever destabilize? And who will take power in that power vacuum when the system itself crumbles and shatters to the ground? Because these are very important questions, and this is the very important question we should all be asking ourselves, because this power structure literally is crumbling the world as a result of the creation and the engineering of this technology. And where did the technology come from? I've talked a lot about the hive mind, uh, the establishment of the internet, uh, how we're all tapped into the Google algorithm, we're tapped into the algorithm in the Borg itself, tapped into the hive mind. Who controls that? And who is engineering the propaganda? Not just coming from the mainstream, but that is coming from the alternative sources and coming from alternative outlets, much like the one that you're watching. Who is in charge of that? And are the players authentic and legitimate in asking and promoting calls for true, not just psychological and ideological revolution, but ultimately physical revolution, which is an extremely dangerous, dangerous situation for a people or a civilization to engage in without an open set of rules and without a clear plan and strategy, including specific rules for engagement. And what are the rules for engagement? There's people attempting to express what those rules are, but what are the motives of the people getting that word out and getting that information out to the public? So I want to ask you this question today, uh, because these are big questions. And because we're all a part in aggregate of this hive mind, we are all part of the Borg, whether or not we like it or not. We need to better understand what is happening, how we're being influenced uh, by these control measures, by the surveillance state, and by the grid system, and ultimately manipulated in a way that results in our behavior or a fundamental shift and change in our actions, which is the goal of any propagandist, whether or not uh, the, the source information is legitimate uh, and is good and righteous or it's evil and tyrannical, much like the world that we live today. What do you think? And do you think it's possible? Do you think it's humanly palatable for there to be a new world and a new paradigm and environment in the not too distant future where the people actually take control and legitimate power over their own lives and act almost in a seasteading environment where we could have competing autonomous independent units of control and of power by the people, not a vertical leadership, but a 
a fragmented form and decentralized form of leadership. Is that possible? And if it is, is it possible without extreme violence, with death, mass genocide, and ultimately war on a grand scale? These are things that I think about that keep me up at night. I want to hear from you. Put your comments, questions, open up a broad discussion in the comment box below. If you like this video, please share it everywhere. Help get it out to people all around the globe. Subscribe to me on YouTube at Seagreen34, Facebook at Greenwave TV, and Twitter at Greenwave. And please support our sponsor below. I'm Christopher Green, and you've been watching alternative media television, hard hitting and in your face.